This has caused waves in various places. Chemical ban, not happy, but don't take my word for it. Well, the news hasn't been received too well by Kevin Kilban, who received 110 caps for the Republic. He posted this on Twitter in response to the news. I'd rather be ranked 150th in the world and never qualify again uh, than have someone who has played but needs to think whether they should play for us again. Well done, Martin O'Neill, for transparency. Oh, to have a tweet read out by Jim Hoyt. That's I didn't enough. know that. No, listen, you've, you've, you've sucked me in there, lad. I didn't know Big that. Jim, was... Even Big Jim didn't. Well, yeah. We've had this from Kevin Kilban. Yeah, well. Cap 302 times <laughs> for the Republic of Ireland. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, lads, we shouldn't be laughing about this, honestly. Ah, uh, this... Oh, I'm, not, I'm not happy with this. Gen genuinely not happy with this. This, this. this is poor. This is very poor. Some of you lads don't agree with me on... On, on my feelings to, to what it means to play and things like this as well. And I know that, I know that totally, but this is, um, this is not on. I, I genuinely think this is not on. Three caps, all the messages, kissing the badge. And I, I, this was mentioned last week and I immediately thought to the under 21 game when he'd played, he played, he made his debut in Turkey and he went back to play for... Um, uh, for the 19s. For, was it the 19s? No, it was the 21s. 21. It was the 21s, yeah. 21. Um, it was King's 21 side, wasn't it? So he went back to playing the 21s and then he kissing the badge and all that. The messages and the, the signals all indicated towards him being fully with us, essentially. And why play in the first place? Why start playing for us? It's just, I, I don't buy it. And you lads don't agree with it. And I know that you... Well, hang on, don't agree with what? what no, but what you lads don't agree with the fact is that, look, you, you, you've got a you, you, marketability and everything by playing for England. Yes, it's probably... You've got more value put on your head by playing for England. You've probably better wages further down the line. But playing for in playing international football is not about that, and it never will be in my mind. It never, honestly, that's that's the way that I feel. And you, you can throw at me anything about you know, would you've ever played for England yourself further down the line? Would you've ever been picked and all this? It's total nonsense. It is. But I don't, if you I, follow your logic through. We can assume it's about money. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Of course, he's changed his agent over the summer. Yeah. You know, you, no, that's you, certainly raised alarm bells. What, yeah. What's your agent saying to you? Your agent saying, look, you know, this is great for you. You're, you're getting international caps. But also, don't play a competitive game. Knowing full well that this is the first competitive game. I was, it was mentioned to me last week. I was talking to a few of the, uh, the press lads last week and they'd mentioned it to me. And it actually just... It, 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 I didn't even realise that these next games are actually going to be classed as competitive games. So that takes yeah. away... Well, just this one Wales game, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly, but, but it's still the glorified friendlies, essentially, aren't yeah. they? That's what they are. I, I, I honestly just I didn't even think of it in that way. Then all of a sudden I was like, oh, yeah, be fine, he'll, he'll play, there's no issues. And then for Martin O'Neill, Martin O'Neill, you've got to applaud him for this because many manager, many manager would have come out and just told a line of, you know, Declan's, not, Declan's injured, he's not quite right. That's what would have been said by most managers. So he's come out today and he said, well, look, this is, this is what I'm dealing with here. England have been in touch and we've got to respect his decision for that. Personally, I, I know, I, I, I'm certainly, you know, agents accused me in the past of maybe tweeting to get likes and all this sort of crap, but I, I, I'm, that's not the case at all, honestly. Genuinely with this, I feel as though that he's turned his head, what, he's, turned, he's had his head turned. Mm -hmm. Why on earth play for us in the first place to then go, consider going to play for a different country? Yeah, that's, that's what I genuinely feel with it. And, uh, and personally, if, if he's called back into the squad, or if he, if he were then to change his mind and think, I'm going to go, what does that say to the rest of the lads? What does that say to young kids growing up? That you can actually, you know, you're, you're aspiring to be a Declan Rice. You're aspiring to be, you know, if you're English born, you're aspiring to be Declan Rice, that you've got pride in playing for Ireland. And all of a sudden, that, nah, I could actually go and play for someone else as well. Or a young boy's over here in Ireland that's growing up, and they're listening tonight, or they're, they're seeing what Declan Rice is, is, is doing. What's that saying to them? They're coming through a system where someone's taken three caps off an Irishman. Mm -hmm. That's the way that I'd look at it. You've taken three caps off someone here and you shouldn't have been involved in the first place if you're actually going to make this decision further down the line. Well, let's start on point one. I think we're all in agreement that FIFA and UEFA and everybody needs to change the rules, that if you play a friendly or a competitive international, it doesn't actually matter that's it, you're done. Like this Diego Costa business yeah. has to well, change. I, so no, I get that. Let's, let's I get agree, that. Let's I agree on that. that and move I get on. That. Rich, just hang I on. Get that. Let's, let's move on. So that should be changed because yeah. that makes it very messy and there's the badge kissing and then there's the interviews afterwards and there's his dad flying into yeah. Turkey and there will be plenty of evidence and clips to throw at Declan Rice now for a long time if yeah. he goes and plays for England. But point two, 
isn't he entitled to just be true to himself? Maybe it's not about money. Maybe true to himself, yeah, but don't play in the first place, Joe. Uh, uh, do do sure. not play for us in the first place and use us to enhance your reputation, to enhance the chance of you going to play for England. Don't play for us in the first place. I don't want you. Because i tell you something now, that I, and I've been in this position before when I was part of the squad where we've had lads going, if I don't make the England squad, I, I, I might declare for Ireland, but I'm not just going to declare yet. I've been in the squad, I've been sat on the bus going to training and lads have been like, ah, on you go, mm. we don't want you. Mm. He... he no matter what anyone said, the lads will give out a message to say, well, look, yeah, he's welcome back in the squad, but there'll be an element, and a, a large element within that squad will be thinking, nah, not but if, wanted. But if he takes the time now to really think about this, and then says, I still want to play for Ireland, Joe, isn't think? that a good thing? Why think? Why he's entitled to think. He's, he's entitled 19. to think. He's 19. Kev, it's not like... It's not, you, you, knew, you knew from an early age, but it's not like people aren't a bit complicated. I mean, he could feel a real affinity oh. to Ireland and a real affinity to England. Like, he's English. He Fair grew up in to, London. Well, if he's English, then play for England. Well, then what's the problem? But you can feel... Play for England then, don't play for Ireland, don't even start playing for us, don't start playing at youth level. This is my big but gripe with still it very, all. He was st oh, look, I don't like the youth level thing either, but he was still very proud to play for Ireland at youth level. He was representing where his grandparents came from, he'd spent time... Well, once you've made that decision there. and you start to play, then continue but to do play. But should you hold a 15-, 16-year-old forever to that decision? Well, no, OK, then that's fine then. But Joe, he's played at senior level. All right, I, 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 I'd, still, I'd still be... I wouldn't be happy about a lad playing at youth level, under 18s, under 21s, whatever it is, whatever, whatever age group it is, be international and, and then changing your mind. I'll accept it. I'll accept it with... I wouldn't be happy about accepting sure. it. We've just got Callum Robinson in the squad now for this game. He's played at England under 21 level, so I'll, I'll accept it. I'll take it. I'm not happy, but I'll take it. He's played senior international football for us. He's, even Jack Grealish, I thought, I honestly did. I, I stood back from Jack Grealish and I said, fair enough, you're not actually going to play for, for the senior team. Mm -hmm. you got, you've made your decision and I understand that. And I actually, through gritted teeth, I took it and I think, well, fair enough, he isn't going to go and maybe embarrass himself by playing at senior international level in a friendly mm -hmm. and then going to change his mind. He's played three times, Joe. Joe, he's played three times. And I don't care what you say. The messages that have been clear. We've, I've, I've seen videos. I've heard him talking. It's been a constant. I'm Irish. I want to play for Ireland. What's it to think about? What's what, what, why are we having this debate? Mm. So something has changed his mind, and it's and it's whether it's financially motivated, whether it's emotionally mo um, motivated. Do not play in the first place. Don't. don't no, I don't want you. I seriously, I don't want you anywhere near my side. So I get what you're saying, Rich. I do. I take it. I take it all on board. What you're saying. No, I don't want you. I don't want you anywhere near my side. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be going supporting a side knowing full well that you're going to change, change your mind in three games' time. Look, I agree with that, but let's, we are where we are now. If he says, in a couple of weeks' time, I've really thought about this and I'm 100% committed to Ireland and I wanted to take the time to think about it, big decision, because I feel English as well. I feel English as well and I feel Irish. Yeah. And I wanted to think about it to be sure. And now I'm sure, and it's Ireland for me, they were very good to me at youth level. They're my grandparents, my parents. I do, I feel Irish and English. I had to think about it. Now, having thought about it, I'm going with Ireland and I'm committed. So you're telling me then it's like, sorry, no? Personally, yes, I would, I would feel like that, yeah. I would feel like that. I understand it that he hasn't played and um, Martin O'Neill's probably doing all the work behind the scenes as well. He's making the phone calls, he's having those, those conversations. But... If you've got any sort of doubt in your mind, good good luck. But All the best. Like, be, like, any you know, doubt in your mind, good luck. So have have okay. But Joe, Joe pointed out you felt Irish and were brought up in an Irish tradition from a very early age, and it was very clear. All life. All, All your life. life. Yeah, it was very clear to you what path you were going to take if that path opened yeah. itself up to you. He obviously feels slightly different. And born and raised in England, yeah. but obviously has more of an affinity to like nationality is a more elastic thing when you have those twin influences going on. Yeah. If you're born and raised in England, and I appreciate the agent's probably been in his ear in the last six months, mm. and that's a separate issue. But growing up, he was probably split between the two. He had a very Irish side to him growing fan, up in I, England. Yeah, he may, he may have been an English fan. So I, was Andy Townsend. Would you not have had Andy Townsend captain the country? He was supporting England at Euro 88. Uh, Joe, well, Joe, I... People are like a, these dual nationalities. Personally, personally, and you know how I feel on this, Joe. So you now you're going to you're going to get me going on this one as well. Now, personally, I pick lads that all, only want to play for Ireland as your first choice. That's the way that I see it. But the, Ireland, the, Ireland is your first choice, and that's it. You will be told at 18, 19, what's your choice? Where do you want to play? What's your country? You can play for Ireland. What do you want to do? Well, I'm Irish. Yeah, I want to play for Ireland. Well, then the the problem is, and I think we can all agree with that, is the rule that says you can play football for one team 
And as long yeah. as it's not a competitive international, you can start off and play for another. They've been pl- like Diego Costa's done it. Aymeric it's Laporte pl- has pro- done is it. probably going to go and declare for Spain, despite the fact that he's yeah. played underage football for France. I mean, there's lo- It's not just an Ireland yeah. thing. It's not just an Ireland thing. I said, I, I go back to your point. You lads don't agree with me on it. I don't, and I understand that. Why, nationally, why I don't think it's agreeing or disagreeing. Why, no. why don't we agree with? Well, you, you're saying that you, you think he has every right to make a make a decision on on going to play if if he wants to make that decision and ha- he has the right to make that decision to go and play for England. And that's maybe the rule that's in place. Yes, we understand you've got to adhere to the rule, but then it just comes down to what it means to be a sportsman. Sportsman, sportsman or becoming a sportsman or woman growing up, it's all about the financial rewards. That's all it is. That's well, does, all it well, is. Does, does, like, How I do we know this is about finances? No, I know, I'm just saying. But I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm saying in general. He may be, he, he's 19, like not to patronise anyone who's 19, but he may be genuinely conflicted about this thing and he just wants to take yeah. some time. But why, like, why, why play in the first place? Because, why, he, was why asked him because he, was, he was 16 or 17 and it. he was asked up it. and he'd represented the country at a young age and, he's, and I would say he still, you know, even if he went on to play for England, he would still have a, a real affinity with Ireland. So, I mean, if you, you're asked up... Of course, it is. I, I said to you, I spoke to lads, I spoke to lads who have played for England who, who would have actually preferred to play for us. Yeah. I've, I've actually spoke to players, two or three lads, who have played underage level for England that kind of ruled them out when they were actually forced into it through the system. I was almost forced to play for England as a kid myself going through the system. But I didn't want to. I knew myself, and you've got to stand up for you've got to stand up for what, uh, what what you believe is right. Let me put it to you in the shape of a terrible analogy, dreadful analogy. But would you rather go out with someone, have a relationship with someone that you nabbed young, and they hadn't seen the world, they hadn't thought about it, and suddenly they just like you're the first thing that comes along, and well, hey, off we go. Yeah. Or would you rather go out with someone who's a bit more worldly, has maybe had a few so other boyfriends, play, played the field a little bit, played yeah. the field a little bit, yeah. and has That's made up their have. mind. Properly yeah. at a certain age and says, Do you know what? I'm fully committed. Well, do you know what? It's a total. It's a diff- it's a, it's a total I never said thing. it's a perfect it, analogy, it, it, but it's a similar it's a, story. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's similar. It, that's like chalk and cheese. I think I, I, I have a real concern with us nabbing lads in their early teens. Okay, yeah. like, so let, let me put it to you this way. Let's, let's flip it for a second, right? The FAI, mm. they're going up north and they're going to England right. and they're finding out who has a granny somewhere, right? right let me finish. Yeah. And they're getting them at 12 or 13. Mm-hmm. And of course at 12 or 13, chance to play international football, it's hard to make it as is, international football helps your prospects, yeah. of course you're going to say yes. Your family will be but thrilled. Aidan McGeady, yeah. Aidan McGeady and James McCarthy yeah. and beyond, right? Mm-hmm. Once we do that, once we get 14, 15 year olds, Rice as I understand was playing from under 16s anyway, yeah. then it is entirely possible mm. that when they reach maturity, if they've grown up in London their whole life, that they will say, well, look, look, well hang on here, I need to, I need to think about this now. Right. I think if we are going about our business that way, then we do raise that prospect. And it's happened several times. It's happened with Grealish, it's happening with Rice. And so if we're that put out by it, then we should stop the policy of getting children 13, 14, 15 year olds no, because to come and play for we're, Ireland. We're up against it anyway. We're up against Fine. it. So we, but, but we you said you'd rather not qualify. No. So if that's the case, then you, no, but you, you, point, you can't your point have is flawed the Declan Rice's you Joe, Joe, Joe your point underage. is flawed from the fact is that said, I, I would say with gritted teeth that yes, I understand it, that you might play underage for a different country and go on, and go on change, not senior international football. Not where do you, free, where do you not draw free the line? Caps. What age do you draw the line? I'd say under 21s personally. I'd, I'd probably, I, I Declan pers- Rice is only 18, 19? He's under 21s football though. He's played sure, under but he was, football. He was, okay, so 21s is where you'd, yes. you'd change it. Fair that's enough. That's what I would. That's what I would. That, that, was the, that was the older rule and that's where I would have it. No way senior international. No way. You can kind of even... You, Richie spoke about Diego Costa, he got one cap for, for Brazil, you're kind of going, all right, all right, fair enough, you've changed nationalities, and he's my favourite footballer around anyway, so I've kind of given him a bit of leeway somewhere along the line. Three international caps, he's got three international caps, Joe, regardless whether it's a friendly or anything else, he's taken three caps away from, from, our, from Irish international footballers, that's the way that I would see it, that's yeah. the way that I would see it if I was in that squad, he's taken a cap away from me, and also... He's now. He, he may now turn his back. He's got a decision to make. A decision. What decision have you got to make? Mm. That's the way that I would look at it. And I understand. Again, you, you lads are, are not in agreement with me on it. On totally from what I'm saying. And I understand now. Again, identity. Identity in this day and age is different. And yes. again, I grew up in a different time. And my parents, when they moved to England, grew up in a time when it was. Bat down, batten down the hatches a lot of the time yeah. as well that maybe influenced me and I understand that I understand that totally mm. but I don't buy the fact that you've played three times for, for a but country But the, the England thing as well isn't I don't think being sold to him on the fact that he's going to walk into the squad on the starting 11 tomorrow Like it, 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 he's got to be quite clear that there's people like Joe Gomez and Harry Maguire and God knows who else in front of him that it's yeah. a long term thing that eventually he might be able to play for England not you're playing for England next Wednesday It is ironic that this is that, happening That's irrelevant it, to me it, it, It's irrelevant yeah, who's in front of you But isn't, it, isn't, it, isn't it It is interesting that like when Jack Grealish made the decision he was playing in the FA Cup semi-final and playing really good football yeah. and all like the Henry Winters of the world were on the case It's funny Rice like 
really iffy performance at Anfield and out of the team. Mm. It's not like he's but you this know, he's close to the town. This, this, this conversation has been had for a while now, hasn't it? That things have been done behind the scenes to turn his head. Um, so it's not. This is not a new thing. This has not just happened overnight. Sure. He, he probably played in the summertime with people making these phone calls to Southgate or Dan Ashworth, whoever it was within, within the English FA. The message has been coming out quite clear. Gareth Southgate said a number of months ago now that, he's, that he is on their radar. So that message or that conversation has been had. Mm. That's been had. So, but again, back to my point, it, it, it is irrelevant. It is totally, in my mind, irrelevant whether Gareth Southgate has personally rang you up, Dan Ashworth has personally rang you up, or whoever it is, or whether West Ham's putting pressure on him, that he's then going to qualify as an Englishman, it gives them a little bit more, it, it, it relieves pressure on them, because they, obviously we need home, they, they need homegrown players in the side. Um, I don't know if that's an issue anyway, because I think he's gone through the systems, so I don't even think that's an issue anyway, personally. But anyway, regardless of that, it's to me... There, there's no argument, I, I, and I'll stand so by it. When you say there's no argument, you're saying there's no argument that if he turns around and says, I want to play for Ireland, you're saying he shouldn't be picked? <sighs> I, I, he, like, will, he will be picked, so I'll support him. He will be picked if, if he turned around and said that. But by saying this, just by saying, after playing three times, even if he played, if he played once, twice, whatever it would be, but by playing and then saying there's a decision to be made. If Martin O'Neill has had that conversation with him. Ma Martin O'Neill probably knows exactly what he's doing today because he, he, he's had to be totally clear that... Because Martin, there'll be questions asked of Martin O'Neill and he's, just, he's had to hold his hand up and say, well, look, he's spoken to England. I can't, I can't change that now, he's spoken to England. I think, he, I think he, he's hung a lot of people out to dry from, from how, how strongly they've supported him as well. Yeah. And I think he's made himself look foolish with the things that he said as well. What, what arguments has is, is, is there been? Uh, in literally, the message he said, there's no argument as far as I'm concerned. I'm Irish, I want to play for Ireland, kissing the badge and all that sort of carry on. It, it just doesn't wash with me, Joe. I'm sorry, but it never ever will wash with me. Never will. Nobody agrees it's a great situation. Like, clearly, none of us think it's good to play three times for Ireland and then go and play for England. Like, mm. not great. But uh, the question is now, if he makes up his mind to play for Ireland then you have to welcome him back. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I understand what, what it'll be like within that squad. There will still be that element of, oof, hang on a minute, he's coming back now. Even uh, though he's actually made a more informed, reasoned, thought-out decision. It, it, why play in the first place then? That's the point. You say it's informed decision, he's had his head turned then, basically. That's, that's, that's all it is. Maybe, but say So playing, playing for Ireland doesn't necessarily... Say he's had his head turned it, it's and... He's taken something he's got, away say, from say, wearing that shirt. Say he's got, so maybe his head has been turned, maybe the new agent over the summer, various people. He's still young, he's going to have his head turned. So now imagine he turns around to them and says, look, I know I can get a you know, two million boot deal with Nike as an England international and I'll get sawed all with Ireland, but I've just decided I'm going with Ireland they're my team, they've always been my team. Yeah. Then actually he stood up for himself and you'd have to, you'd have to applaud him. If, if we're saying his head's been turned and he still picks we'll, Ireland. We'll, 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 we'll cross that bridge when we get well, to I, it and what's actually true. been said. And what's actually been said and I think he'd probably, I, I'm, I'm not saying he'd have to be, do a lot of grovelling, but there'd, there'd have to be some serious conversations to be had. There'd have to be some, he'd have to come out with clear messages of why he actually yeah. has, 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 has needed to, to think about decision, it. To think I mean, about look, it, yeah. on your point, as I understand it, he made his debut at the end of the 16-17 season, last day of the season for West Ham. So the summer of 2017, right, he makes yeah. his debut. And yeah, he's called, and we, we saw him then play for... He's called up to Ireland the next week, or the week, a week or two after that. He is called up to the senior side. Yeah, that's right. So I what age so, is he? Yeah. We're in 2018 now, so he's, he's just gone 18. Mm. Like, yeah. You know, you're called up at 18. Uh, he never played though then, did he? So he was, he was in almost, it was for training, wasn't it? He never played yeah. then. He only made his debut the back end of last season, which was the game in Turkey then, of course, the US game. And where else, Rich, did he play? Uh, the three, anyway, that we've had over France as well, of course. Mm. So he had the three games there that, that he's played, which was at the back end of last season. He was called in for training. Mm. So he, he knows then when he's, he's Martin O'Neill is looking to involve him at that stage. This is a year ago. If then there's something to think about, it's only a year, a year's passed since then. You think about it then before you actually come into the senior setup, or at least before you make your senior cap or senior debut, the back end of last season against Turkey. You're thinking about it then. Mm. You say to Martin O'Neill then before you've played once. Yeah, with all due respect, I've got I've just got a decision to make here because there's a chance I could be playing for England further down the line, and I feel English. I feel as though I want to be playing for them at some stage in my career, so I will make this decision. He should have said it before he played once. He should have. Without, without I agree, a doubt. Yeah, of course, yeah, that's, absolutely. That's what I think. So no, nobody can disagree with that. Like, well, I mean, no, of course, there's lots of people that disagree with that. People, people think it's all about playing for England. No, I don't. I don't think anyone agrees he should have played three times for Ireland when he wasn't sure. Mm, I think he's entitled 
to there'll get be, up to senior be, level and change his be, mind. There'll be quite a lot of people, and that is what. No, the, I don't, well, I, no, the I English don't. the English FA have got a policy of, of of saying to players at certain levels, as a, there's a policy within it. They say, well, look, go and play for Ireland, go and play for Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, wherever. We'll, we'll, we'll watch you. Get your experience at international level, at youth international level. We'll watch you when you're playing. No, I know, but I'm talking level. senior. I don't think anyone thinks it's great that he played three times for Ireland senior. Well, I, I'm sure he's gone with England's blessing, though, if that's the case, because England are saying, "Well, look, this, you've got three friendlies there. It's not going to, it's not going to encroach on us at whatsoever. It's not going to matter to us whether we're going to pick you further down the line. You can go and get three well, caps. If, you can go and see what you like playing. If he's had that, that if, he's had, if he's had that conversation with them before playing for Ireland, and they've said, "You know what? Go and play. We still no," but pick they would have had that conversation. I doubt very much he's had that conversation, but they would have had that conversation with who. With themselves amongst amongst the English FA. Yeah, but I don't. Well, I don't know. I mean, well, Gareth Southgate has said it in, in the last few months. Anyway, yeah, but he's, he's monitoring him. You you risk losing him then very quickly. You know, if you let him into Irish camp. Well, then, but th then it's almost as if like that that we can actually then dictate to others. We can dictate to other nations. You can actually go and play for another nation, but we we're the power broker here. We are, we're the ones that actually are going to make the final call on this, we will actually call him up for the down the line. can choose to ignore that if you want. Of course he can, of course he can, but you choose to ignore it now, you don't actually say to Martin O'Neill now, look, thanks very much, um, but and I've got something to think about here. As soon as, as soon as that letter comes through, or as soon as that text comes through, the email comes through, whatever it is, you just say, yeah, I'm there, I'm on the plane, thanks very much.